Hi, my name is Barry Crampton. Today I'm going to show you around our Mitsubishi Shogun. Then I'll take you for a ride in it. But first I'll tell you a little bit more about it. It's a 3.2 DI DC SG5 Auto four-wheel drive long wheelbase. 2016 on a 66 plate. One owner from new. Has done 36,559 miles. It's automatic. The fuel economy, urban, 26.9 miles per gallon. Extra urban, 32.8 miles per gallon. And combined is 30.4 miles per gallon. Has a 0 60 time of 11.1 seconds. A top speed of 112 miles per hour out of a 187 brake horsepower, four cylinder, 16 valve engine. So big chrome grill. It's got um, the chrome headlight surrounds as well. Kind of uh, splits them all up. The plastic wheel arch protectors in body color and these snowflake alloy wheels, Shogun printed on them. Good, ni nice nice style levels, I, I like those. Chrome mirror backs, sunroof, we've got roof bars, the side step there, and then also the door protector, um, and uh, well, mainly stop other people opening their doors into yours when you're taking up all the parking space. Rear privacy glass, the integrated tailgate spoiler there, and it, again, all that bit uh, is all plastic. Uh, scuff protector on the bumper there. The spare wheel is under this back here. And then the big door handle there. You've got, you've also got seven seats in this vehicle. I'm, I'm having to hold this back today because it's really, really windy. I, I've never seen so many carpets in a, in, in a vehicle. There's another spare set of carpets in here. These heavy duty carpet mats in the car. There's a heavy duty load cover in the load space. Then there's a, another carpet mat underneath the heavy duty uh, load protector. And then there's the actual carpet of the car itself. The big Rockford subwoofer in the back there. And then we've got this uh, roller blind. Two speakers in the back here as well. Not only is there a lot of carpet mats for this vehicle, um, we've got the brochure with it, which is always a great sign as well. And the back seats um, have had fitted heavy duty kind of nylon uh, covers over them. So it's like new in the back here. Um, got the sunroof there, tilt and slide by the look of it. Uh, the shade band there, great speaker system and this, uh, imitation silver carbon fiber <laughs> for want of a better word or better description um, you know we've got these insets to the the dash and the, the door cards it's gray leather uh, perforated outer sections really really nice and in the back here let's just have a look I'm not sure what you do with these I know that that should come forward there armrest let's see and then cup holders in the back there so Really nice in the back. Okay, I'll just take you for a ride in it. The uh, Mitsubishi key there with a the proper blade. Right, anyway. So, service history. Let's just do this quickly. 5th of 12, 2017 at 9604 miles, Mitsubishi Carnforth. 13th of 12, 2018 at 17,691 miles, Mitsubishi Carnforth. 27th of 11, 2019 at 27,981 miles, Mitsubishi uh, Carnforth. 17th of 11, 2020, 34,913 miles. Loom uh, view uh, garage calm forth there. So, uh, also, we've got this uh, come with it. Let me just see. I, I always uh, Iger Grey, so it's it looks like it's Iger Grey metallic with uh, gun metal grey premium leather. So, that, that's a good start because normally I have to make a colour up. So, we've got 
electric seats here, let's just see. Electric seats, that's uh, it's all the way back, so, and then the backrest like so. There's another button somewhere I felt before. What's that? Ah, that's lumbar support as well. And then we've got height adjustable steering wheel. Let's get that down there. So it's low mileage, good service history. Uh, typical Mitsubishi. These were the, uh, used to be, hang on, let me just have a cup of coffee, a drink of coffee before I go. Right. These were the things to have. Certainly the four wheel drives never break down, go on forever. They uh, couldn't get enough of them and used to end up importing them from Cyprus as the Mitsubishi uh, Pajero. Sold plenty of Shoguns in my time. And uh, I, I can't recall ever having any, any problems with them. They're a, a big old bus. You're certainly not a sports car driver or anything. In fact, uh, when you turn in a sharp corner, you, you've got to think about half a second to a second ahead to uh, allow for the, the big tyre roll. So, seven seats, there's another seat that folds up out the back, but I've got all my camera gear in the back, so I, I, I didn't want to unload it before because it was, it was lashing down. A multi-function steering wheel here with your uh, phone controls along the bottom. Mode controls for the radio and also volume. And on the right hand side you've got cruise control. Like an outlander, just going around the corner there. There we go, a <laughs> bit bits of body roll. But you've got to have a bit of body roll, especially if you're going off road, which um, well, we, we just used to sell these to farmers all day long. It, it was, um, they'll, they'll, they're great for towing. I don't know, it's two and a half tons, something like that, it, it'll tow. But they're absolutely excellent for towing. And bags of room in them. You can go off road in them and the suspension will take up the roughest ground without you know, chucking you from side to side. Hence the uh, acceptable body roll. It's reasonably quiet. This has got general gravity tyres on, I think. It's kind of a, they look like all sort of all-terrain tyres to me, but I haven't had a close look to them. Nice snowflake design alloys. And, uh, and also if I flip that to the left, And I do like this because mainly it's got switches. There's switches everywhere. It'd be better if you could see them. Proper, proper machine for hard work. Uh, over the years, they've got bigger and bigger. They used to be a real cute three-door Shogun. Again, fantastic, uh, fantastic sellers. Great driving position. Lovely finish on them, <laughs> and of course. Back in the old days, it'd be bull bars, roof bars, light protectors. You're not allowed any of that these days. If you're politically correct. Seats are nice and comfortable. There's also the heated uh, two switches there for 
drivers and passenger and I think the back seats are heated as well. Over there you can use it as a manual box, just knock the gear selector over. Just get it up to 70. And then you've got your four-wheel drive, two-wheel drive selector. So I'm there or thereabouts. Cruise on. So I'm going to have to press something else to set it. Set. Oh, set. So there you go. On there set there, so it's saying coast set, accelerate, so I should be able, well I don't want to go any faster, I'm doing 70, but if I did, I'd knock that button there, and then this will be cancel here, just be careful here, we'll let this uh, Range Rover in, or at least get up to speed, that's it, and then we'll go in. Horrible day in the UK. Not nice at all. And then you've got highway maintenance there with crap coming out of it, paint. Normally at this stage anyway, somebody comes and cuts in front of me at the last second so they can take all the crap coming out of that motorway highway maintenance thing. Save my windscreen. So it's got sat nav, Bluetooth hands free, Bluetooth audio streaming. As it happens, if uh, I won't press it because it just keeps repeating it. But the <laughs> who, whoever has had the car before has chosen to lock the voice activation. Perhaps it, I don't know why, I just don't know why, but and I don't know why it even has that function, but anyway, it has, and it's locked. So I'm going to show you how I think you unlock it, how you set the sat-nav, and then we'll see if it's got audio streaming. I'm sure it has. If it hasn't, I'll cut that bit out. If I remember. Well, nice driving position. You're up above everybody else. You see over the hedges. You feel more secure. So you just have a little bit more steering input to go where you would normally go. But a lot of that is, again, with the, the big tyre walls, if you turn in somewhere in, in too quick, then the car tries to fold over itself or bend the tyre wall as opposed to turn. We've got the sunroof here. There you go. There's the sunroof. Roof bars got side steps the 
so we, we can change down manually or change up or down manually there we can put it back in automatic let's just see if that yeah we've got tilt as well so tilt and slide electric glass sunroof and the shade band that will come across here we go I, I'll just take it through these little bends this is uh, it, um, it's easier to get the suspension on a big car like this to make a noise or crack or give any, any indications that there's something wrong with it when you can move the whole car's weight rather than just using a pry bar or something on the ramp in my opinion and here we go this is what it was made for country roads towing a big trailer and soaking up all these bumps and even though Preston Council have just resurfaced lots of lots of these bits of road, what they seem to have done is taken the low spots away and created a load of high spots. So, still. Unbelievable. So there we go, lovely vehicle, very, very handy. There was somebody out there looking for one of these. Um, it's in lovely condition inside and uh, drives how you would expect this sort of vehicle to drive. Got some great great cars coming up to video and um, hopefully by the time I get back we'll have a very very nice Land Rover Defender in which I'll probably video on Monday we've got a mini oh God, what was it was it Countryman or something I only saw it as I was coming out just arrived that's a nice vehicle um, well, a couple of transit vans a Vivaro van um, Flipping it, what else? Still got the XC60 to do. So, going to be very, very busy next week. And uh, because the, the weather's really bad, I've managed to get out today. That's first time for three days I've managed to get out because the rest of the time it's it's very, very windy today. But it's it's been it's been like a monsoon for three days. So we'll get that done next week. Um, please. If you can think of anything or you want a, a car that we haven't got, you may be looking for one in the future, just give us an email. Um, I, I, I must, the, the video I did of the Range Rover, the, the second time while I, was, while, while I was out in the Range Rover, it was the second time that day that a cyclist had pulled out in front of me. And I had a bit of a downer on cyclists and it, and it came across in the video. <laughs> and yesterday we had a live chat asking for the uh, for our email so somebody could send in a complaint about <laughs> what I'd said about the cycling community. And uh, I tried to make a joke of it by, by saying, oh yeah, we, we've, we've taken his company Range Rover off him and uh, made him come to work on a bike and the guy said he was glad or something like that and that I might now see how, what cyclists have to put up with and, and then uh, of course he's he's also threatened to report me to Ofcom for for not liking cyclists or something so I mean you, you can't win them all but for goodness sake <laughs> behave right well on that note, I'll finish the video and then 
I'll try and get this. Hang on. Hands-free system is locked. State the password to continue. Well, the previous owner's got the password, so I've no idea. So I'm gonna. Three zero zero incorrect password. Please try again. So as usual with voice activation. It Five, two, six, eight. Incorrect password. Please try again. How did you get five two six eight from that? Five two six eight. Incorrect password. Please so anyway, hopefully I'm going to be able to show you how to stop that annoying <laughs> lady. Five, zero, five, nine. Incorrect password. Please try again. And. and Please don't report me to Ofcom for being rude to sat navs and voice activation systems. <laughs> I can get enough I can get in enough trouble on my own. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Two, one, one, zero. Shut Incorrect up.